Hello, everyone. Welcome again to our program, Clear Your Mind by Your Monk. We are now on the fifth episode. And thank you, everyone, for being here today. And again, we are also here with our two beloved monks, Monk Tree and Monk Nemitron, who will be guiding us the meditation and our answer our Q&A today. So please join me in welcoming them by bowing three times together. Bow, bow, bow. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the uh, special program, Create Your Mind by Your Mind. And right now, before we come to the program, let's Take a moment for practice the minimum meditation together. Is in a peace time. It's time for find peace and happiness. Residing inside everyone. Be it find your comfortable sitting position. Relax your body, relax your mind. You can use the standard position if you sit on the floor with your right leg over your left leg, your right hand over your left hand, palms up. Your right leg finger gently touch your left thumb. Place both hands on your lap comfortably. If you sit on the chair or sofa, make sure that your back and your head upright. Put your hand on your lap, softly and gently. Let your leg down and your feet touch the ground. Adjust your posture till you feel comfortable. Then gently close your eye in a soft and gentle way. No need to rush, no need to force. Just close your eyes softly and gently as if you were going to fall asleep in the night time, closing your eyes, soft, gentle, and relaxed. Then you can take a deep breath Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in deeply and slowly breathe out. In and out. 
in and out deeply softly and slowly every time when you breathe in breathe in peace joy and happiness when you breathe out breathe out all your concern your worries your tension and your negative feeling breathe it out all in and out after taking a deep breath you feel more relieved feel more relaxed feel the fresh air flow to your nose to reach your abdomen naturally joyfully peacefully and you can feel the fresh air flow to your entire body that can make your blood circulate freely and you can breathe as normally move your relaxation to relax your entire body starting from the top of your head down to your forehead your eyebrow your eyelids loosen the muscle around your face your neck your shoulders relax your arms your hands down to the tip of your fingers relax your chest your back your stomach let the relaxation flow down to your waist your bottom your legs your feet down to the tip of your toes continue to relax your entire body do you feel every part in your body relax and feel comfortable and you can move your relaxation to relax your mind You can allow your mind to be free from everything. No need to rush. No need to force. Just let it flow naturally. Let's go up on your. Responsibilities that relate to work, family, loved one, meeting, study, problem, or 
anything else in your life. Let everything go. Let your mind to be joyful, cheerful, and happy in the present moment. Time. This is the precious moment that we have together every day in clear your mind by your mind. Now you can maintain relaxation of the body and the mind. In the same time, and let the mind sink down to the center, softly and gently settle down inside yourself. Allow any good spot that you feel comfortable and feel most relaxed. Maintain your body still, your mind still at the center. If your mind wander to some thoughts, you can visualize the bright object. It's easy and simple for you. Like the sun, the full moon, the bright star, folding and shining around the center of the body. And you can recite the mantra Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma Arahang Samma is mean purity Arang is mean freedom, so you can purify your mind to be pure and free from all negativity, free from all suffering. Samma Araham Samma Araham Samma Araham. Let the mantra flow in your mind like the steam of happiness that flow all the time. And let everything go. Let the mantra flow in your mind. This is a way for help your mind back to the object, back to the center of the body. Enjoy this good feeling. Enjoy this nice feeling of peace, love, and kindness, and also positive energy. Maintain this good feeling as long as you can during the meditation time, during the 
peaceful time with everyone. Let joy in the broken clear your mind by your mind. Please continue to meditate in silence for a moment. Maintain your body still, your mind still. At the center all the time. During the meditation time, you feel some peace, some love, expand from the center. Now it's time for spreading loving kindness, sending out good feeling and positive energy, sharing and expanding to all directions, share to your family, your friend, your loved one, your people around you, and everyone that come to joy in the program, create your mind by your mind. May they free from all suffering. May they free from all kinds of danger. May they take care of themselves happily. May they live together with inner peace, with wisdom, for have a good life and success in everything. And you can wish good for yourself to be well, to be healthy, wealthy, have a good friend, have a perfect family life, successful in everything and attain true happiness and have good wisdom for guideline to have a good life. You can take a moment for which good for yourself and other people for a moment. สัพพุทธานุภาเวนะสัพพธรรมานุภาเวนะสัพพสังขานุภาเวนะสัทธาโสธิภาวันโตเต When you are ready, you can open your eyes gently and still remain calm and peaceful inside yourself throughout the day till you go to bed tonight. How was it, everyone? How did you feel? I hope you have a good moment time with us. That was very wonderful. Thank you, Monday Mitron. Um, I needed that so much. Like you guys know, prior to meeting you, I was still working and I have a very busy week. So that was a really nice break. Okay, and now, I think everyone is ready for our Q and A. And just like both of you guys know that I'm still a newbie in a working industry. So uh, I just been a full timer about seven months and I still have like a lot to learn in my careers. So today I will be asking you guys about um, the careers topic. And I would like to start off with Mark Nemitron of um, about leadership. What do you think um, a good leader 
looks like? Thank you for, for the good question. For me, I think the good leader must to have the good wisdom. Have a good wisdom for this, our member or leader follower to have a good life. You know, that's very important to have a good life, not only about work, but must to take care of everyone in, in the workplace, take care about life, take care about work. And, you know, for the leadership, that's very important. For the leadership, we must to have the professional view and personal humility can lead to the good the good leadership and for something that's so very that's so very important especially when strengthen your will or the good will with the daily my shower or have time for practice meditation right and shower your mind is so very important for the good leader when the good leader shower your mind it's like a time for see the reality of yourself right and see the reality of yourself and can let go let ego fall it's like the ego that come all the time because it's like the leadership sometimes that if don't practice meditation and and think oh someone have ego right because everyone that have a different background sometimes and can think about oh i'm good and sometimes cannot develop more and we need to learn from other people learn from everything that can support and you know for the the good concept about the leadership we need to have inner peace have inner peace in in our mind have inner peace and have inner peace view and also have inner peace hu uh, humility it's like the responsibility for take care of other people understand other will understand everyone will because everyone have the different background different nature and you know sometimes it like the can call the middle way leader the middle way leadership that can lead the people to have a good life it like the time for lead to balance not to work hard right not to work less but work wisely and also take care to the basic it's like the four L. <laughs> Live well, love well, learn well, and lead well. And the good leadership must to lead other people to back to basic and back to happiness in, in work. And also can have the inspiration, the idea, have the big picture about organization to lead everyone have the happiness, have a wisdom for have a good life. And also we must to practice meditation with the leader. And if everyone in organization, leadership and also follower practice meditation, this is the way can involve or can develop the organization to become the happiness organization because everyone in, in the world <laughs> need happiness, right? And also need a uh, middle way leadership for lead to have a good life and good wisdom also. Thank you for your question. Thank you so much, Mami uh, So the message I got from you that a good leader is not only someone who has the wisdom, um, at what they are good at, but they should have the sympathy and have the understanding of the people in their organization. And they should also meditate, which will help them um, 
lower down their ego so that they can listen more to other people and they, they can still um, continue to learn from others even though they are leaders. Right. Yes, it, it's true because it, you know ego, yeah. if we have some ego, if have a lot, it like the, you can imagine the, the gas, you know the gas, the glass and the gas that have the water and if have ego, it like the, the water that flow, that full and don't have space, don't have area for learn something new and that don't have benefit in the long term but if we don't have ego it like to open the mind for learn from everyone because everyone has something that that great sometimes we not perfect right uh, we we don't perfect uh, that's why we need to learn from other and sometimes everyone have a different talent right different talent and the good leadership can partner. You know, the good leadership is not, uh, it's it like the, the way that, that, that they can look in overview of the organization of the work, but sometimes it's done, uh, done perfect in the some talent. And if the have the some people come to an organization and everyone have the different background, different career before and can use the the different culture, the different background to make it happen, to make it happen. It's like the way to make it happen by use different talent, different knowledge, and can make it happen. And less ego and and feel uh, some. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, teamwork make the dreams work. True, true. <laughs> okay, and Monk Tree, you are next. I would like to uh, ask you now about how about the followers, you know, because everyone has um, a leader and sometimes we also play a role as a follower too so how, how can we be a good follower uh, as a good follower so you have to um to listen what the leader assigned you to do so like work that if they if you assign that you have to do it by this time this time so you have to do it um with your full of attention full with um your ability based of your ability to do it best and um, by on on the time to and then you have to listen carefully what uh, your leader want uh for for the work and for uh for anything that um, about your career so you have to listen to them and try to uh see how good of your leader what what is he, what does he or she good about so you can follow and copy and then learn from their experience and then um and come to adapt to your life this is my point thank you so much so no matter if we are um a leader or a follower um listening skill is um important to us because when we uh listen carefully and mindfully, we can know the message that um, the leaders are sending and then we can do our best to contribute in that task. Okay. That's right, right. Thank you. Okay, and since you guys have been um, working even um, with the middle way or even before the middle way, I want to ask if, um, have you ever done like any mistakes in the your career or when you work with the team and like, what, how do you deal with your um, mistakes? Okay, <laughs> is it a good question? You know, this is a, something that happened to everyone that during the work, but most of all, when work have something 
it's like the mistake uh, for me. I have able to have experience like that <laughs> during the time that work with everyone. And when I have something mistake, you know, for me, I don't let the the mistake for the long term. But actually, after mistake, I just realize or reflect myself first. And then reflect after because everyone have different background that I said to you. And the first thing that I do after mistake that uh, make it, it like a time for make everything that that calm first, right? Not after after work. And if everyone calm, it like the people calm or someone around me calm. And I use the way to forgive. <laughs> Forgive first that oh, forget to forgive to someone that oh I I forget I don't communicate to them, <laughs> and it it might happen to everyone right, and after that just forgive, and can learn from the mistake, or use a mistake to become the reason of my life, and do not. And do not do it again. And do not do it again. Just realize and understand each other. And if have something happen, or or if they, if I can look back, I just tell them first what I would like to do because they cannot understand what I would like to do, and just do the communicate. Because if you would like to understand everyone well, just communicate. With them first, and I think this is a good idea. Communicate before, during, and after that can make the good teamwork, can make the work flow, and can fix the problem. When we forgive and understand to each other, and next or next work, next project, if have something come, just oh, I understand. It like the, the way that that have the reason or have the experience before and can know how to manage the the workflow more than before, and this is the this is the answer that I share with you. Thank you so much. Yes, I I think that everyone knows you know that no one is perfect and is very um common than we think that. People make uh, mistakes too, so we don't have to like overthink or like feel so bad about ourselves, right? Like you said, we forgive ourselves first, and you know that's okay, and we can learn from that mistake, and communicate with your team. Yes, and and you know, for the the forgive that have the something that is so very deep, for when you forgive forgive someone, it like you. Give the chance to someone to become the better person, right? Mm -hmm. Give the chance to make someone to become the better person and can use the the mistake become the uh, reason in our life and can make everything and can make the good thing happen in the future because we understand to each other well. And can create relationship more than before. It like every every mistake, we can understand each other better, and can less a problem. And when you less a problem, you can have the area for happiness with them more than before. Thank you so much. How about you, Mang Tree? Um, have you ever like done mistakes um during your work? Okay, thank you for the question. Um, like you said, because no one is perfect like me. I'm not a perfect man too. Um, I used to do a lot of um, some mistake. Um, because of, um, I, I just joined a midway meditation for like a couple months. So um, so my, what what do I do with midway? It not so much. But before I ordered, I used to be um the volunteer at the temple in the United States. So um, that's what. Um, almost 10 years. So what actually is, I did a lot of mistakes 
because um, sometimes um, at the beginning of my career, I was very new to the temple, and then I'm just very new to the, the United States. So I don't know about the the uh, working culture of the temple and of the uh, United States too. Um, what we found when it did uh, that actually a lot of some some problem is big, some problem is small one. But what when I I know that oh wow I did something wrong I did an a very mistake so I try to review myself what uh what did I do wrong how 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 I do wrong and then try to fix it and then and and first of all I have to be with myself first be calm down and then think oh, okay this is wrong this is um kind of not wrong but some people might not understand me well uh, what was he doing so but if it this uh, exactly uh, is this uh, wrong so if not affect to other people so I might um, be with myself and learn from that and not, not gonna do it again but if uh, that mistake um, affect to other people, like maybe my boss, my friends, my uh, uh, follower, anything else, I uh, maybe come down and then try to talk to them and apologize to them that I did wrong and ask for forgiveness. And then I'm not gonna do it again. And yeah, so this I do and I talk to them later on and not to do it. This is uh, my, um, my way to deal with my mistake. Thank you so much for sharing. So it is important to um, accept ourselves first that we did a mistake and we, we don't have to feel bad about that, right? So just tell the team again and you guys can work together. Um, how about, was there a time when like your team doesn't um, contribute the work that they're supposed to do? Uh, to contribute to work on, as I mean, if it's his job, right, and he he done he didn't do that, right? Yes. Is that as uh, the point? Okay. Uh, if that case happen, so um, I have only a way to deal with that case. In some, in some, if it's some jobs that not like not so much big job, not big tasks to do to handle so I might do for them and then I don't talk to them because if that like oh I can do it it's no matter it's not it's not that big deal so I can do it and then and then talk to them and because sometimes um because in in some time of life so we are so busy so we might forget to do something so if we can help each other we just do it and help it it help it and because we are in our team right uh, but if um, that job is impact to other people and he then my he, uh, my follower he or she forgot accidentally or that they, he really want to forgot to do it so I am um, it's up on the case I might do for them first and then come to talk and then fix it and sometimes I might let them like I have to give them some lesson that what if they forgot to do something, what's going to impact for them and our team? That it can kind of a lesson or experience for, for them to learn to attend. And then we talk and try to figure it out um, that shouldn't happen again. Thank you so much. Wow, oh, that's so amazing. Both of you guys are such a forgiving person. I <laughs> that I could be your co-workers too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so next question, Magnemitron, could you please uh, share with us about how can we be successful in our careers? Okay, that's a good question. It's so very important to everyone in, in this world, right? Everyone would like to succeed in our life, in the uh, worldly life and the spiritual life also. And for me, I have uh, some idea that very important for success. You know, the Buddha, he gave the idea. 
how to be successful in in career or the path to success in Bali term we can call it is like the have the four step that we should to practice if you would like to success in in our life in the spiritual life in the worldly life number one passion number two perseverance number three focus and the last one number four review for number one the passion or or can call in the Bali term shanta that do what you love first right do something that you love first if you don't love something that you do, you cannot happy with something that you do. And this is the first step to, to search or to find what makes you happy about work, about anything. And just come to the first step, passion. Love what you do first. If cannot love what you do, just find the new thing until you can love what you do. Or some, sometimes if you don't love something that you do and can use the time for observe more and more and reflect yourself and ask yourself, this is the something that I so really love. Something like that. <laughs> and this is the first step. Have passion in everything that you do. And after that, just come to the next step or can call perseverance. It like the, the way that you do it again and again because you have first step, right? You have passion. The perseverance that can guarantee that you do the same thing that can make it work. If something that happened is it not work, you just find the way and do it again and again, not, not try it because you have good will to do something great. And it's so very really important perseverance, not only to do one day, not only to do one week, but do all the time, do every day until it's become to the habit, become to the habit and you love what you do. And you just do it because you love what you do and you feel good with something that you do and feel happy inside us. And then come to number three. Step three, have focus or jitta. Focus until it's success. <laughs> it's like the, you know about the, the beam of uh, solar beam, you know the solar beam, or the magnifying glass. If you put the magnifying glass on the paper, it like the focus is take time to forget until you can gather the sun, the sunbeam, the sunrise, the sunshine, and then take a moment until it's can burn the paper. And for the focus also, when, you, when we do about work or when we do about the meditation, just focus, focus and focus. Take time to focus. If something happen or if have the many people not agree with something that you do and can you let it ignore them. <laughs> And just ask to yourself first that is it I must to focus first because it can make the good thing happen and can have impact to everyone like focus number three. And then after we do everything, you like to have passion, have perseverance, have focus, and then number four, review is very important because every time that we review, it like the way that we observe yourself more about, oh, this is the work that, this is the, your work that work or not, 
if not just back to basic back to adjusting the the step again and again until it it's work but if if you don't to review what will happen you cannot learn about a mistake you cannot learn about something that not work and review it like that you bring yourself to observe yourself more about something that you do if work just continue if not work just reflect and find the way that that work like the way to find solution to make it happen and this is the fourth thing that very important if you would like to have the uh go successful in the spiritual world in the worldly world just practice the way to lead to success thank, thank you, you. I, I think um, in these recent years, many people have talked about passion, and a lot of um, leaders that I talk with, um, you know, they often time they also mention about passion as well, and it made me think that you know, um, like you said, it's like four steps to be very successful, right? Like of course, passion alone is good, but it's still not enough. You still need um, perseverance. Focus and review, right? And it just made me think that Buddha teaching. Um, he, he was so wise, you know, to come up with these four like simple steps in like two thousand five hundred years ago, and it's like a trend right now, you know, to be passionate about the things that you do. And you know, because uh, the first step is so difficult. It like the find the passion <laughs> about something that you love. Not not easy, but not difficult. If mm -hmm. someone, uh, if someone know yourself, know yourself well, understand understand yourself well, it can find the passion. It easy, but for the some people, it should a lot of time. After graduate, just mm -hmm. find the job. Sometimes it it don't like. And sometimes have the perseverance to the job, but don't lie is it not guarantee happiness. But first of all, make sure to accept and under understand what do you want to do or anything that uh, you want to do. And you know the four step that really support to each other. If uh, if don't have passion, step. Two perseverance cannot happen, and step three, uh, focus cannot happen also, <laughs> because every step that very support to each other, like the the Buddha, he teaching is so very simple but very profound, and then it come to be like the trend right now that every everyone used the term for success in in their life. Thank you, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with us. Okay, um, Mang Tri, since we now mentioning you know about being successful and all, and everyone has um different definition of being successful, and a lot of people who still in the working industry right now, you know, they still want to get promoted. They still want to, uh, you know, have more money. I wonder, in your point of view, like. Does that consider being like greedy, and how do we balance that? Because in Buddha teaching, he said, you know, like not to be greedy. Okay, um, that's right. Uh, because of Buddha teaching, he teach us not to be greedy. But definition of greedy uh, is something like you want, you desire, you want to, you have a, um, you want to get something at. It's important at the expense of other. So I mean, you take over something you want from other, right? Um, you maybe you you take away from that one. You take away to be with you because that's a kind of like greedy. So if in case that you you are uh, you are working with a team workers and you you try to do well, you want to get promoted, but 
what you do, you just blame other and for good, uh, for good for yourself and to get promoted by blaming other that he's so bad and then you are the best one yeah, to get promoted. I think this point is greedy. But for if you try to work best by yourself to get the best job with uh, our uh, with the full of at, uh, attention of your job and then you don't um, blame other, you don't kill other people. So it's, I think it's the way that you can that you can get it to, to promote in your uh, to promote um, your job because uh, it's like you get what you did. It's a lot of karma. You did good thing, you get a good thing. You did bad, you get it bad. So you don't kill any people. You do it. You try it best to yourself. So this is a chance you to, you to get it. It's not greedy, but you can get and you can make um like uh and at this point I think it's like it's just your goal. You can put your goal that when to work a team and then uh, try to be its best. I want to have a success in my life. If you do it in a, the correct way, you it's just like you have your goal, you're not greedy. Yeah, this is my point. Okay, thank, thank you very much um, for your clarification. So it's okay to, you know, one thing to be promoted to like the next level, as long as you don't um, cause harms on other people, right? So, okay, please wish me luck that I get promoted soon. And I will use um monk nemitron method, you know, the for PT Pata to do my job. Okay. Um before we end, I have the last questions to ask both of you guys. Um uh, I wonder if before you entering your monkhood, have your um goals have changed before and after okay um for me um before and after my goal is um little little change little change before it was we are the audience i'm uh, i'm a layman and working as a volunteer at the temple and and that kid, I just think that um, I want to, um, I want to learn the language uh, at the United States. Too, I forgot to tell you. Um, at at that point, that's um, nine years as a volunteer. I my goal is like I want to do it best for my job at the temple to help to support monks at, at jobs to to do everything and try to learn um, American culture too. So try to learn now uh, what what uh what their lifestyle, what I, what is the way that I can help the monk to teach Buddhism in the western area, in the west, western side, and I want to learn that language and uh, anything uh, if I and I wish to have a higher education too, I mean at that time. But when I decide to ordain three years ago as a monk, so the role of my life that uh, um, my goal is a little bit changed, so I, I think I'm not gonna work as a volunteer anymore. But I still wish to, um, as a monk, I would to like to teach you to take the suffering out of the people's mind. I mean, people around the world to take it out. So I, I'm thinking that as a as a monk, this is a the jobs that we have to do. And this is a big, very big one, big task for me. And I'm not thinking about that people only, at, um, just only the Buddhists, but I mean, people around the world, um, they'll have a suffering inside the mind. So I think I have to find a way to help them to find a happier life and take out for their suffering. Uh, meditation is a one one way one method, but I'm think I think I have to find other ways to take the suffering out. Yes. 
thank you so much uh, for sh sharing with us and I'm glad that you stay in the US for nine years, you know, and learn American cultures because now I think it's supporting your goals um, as a monk to help more people. And when you understand um, their culture, uh, you can relate to them more. Thank you, Monk Tree. How about you, Monk Nemitron? Have your goal changed before and after you entering your monkhood? Okay, for, for me, this is uh, something that changing so much <laughs> you know in the university or after graduate from from university i learn about business administration because i i plan i plan about my life after graduate i would like to do some business that can guarantee the the money <laughs> It led the way to find to find a lot of money during that time, and I had the plan for open the room, open the restaurant, you know, restaurant for make the people happy when the most people come to my restaurant and can eat the uh, delicious food, <laughs> and I plan the the project to to my mom and my dad. And I have the another plan to do the business. It can call MV. Because during the moment, you, you know about MV, MV business. You know, during the time that I uh, I studied at the university, I find the job also. And I go to meeting with uh, some people that invite me to join. <laughs> and oh, and and receive the good opportunity to come to join and learn how to speak, how to communicate with people and learn how to stay with the product. That's very amazing. And in that point, it's so hard for me because that you already know, I'm very shy, I'm not talkative, like uh, I'm not talkative. But this is the way, in that moment, this is the way that it like the Sometimes that can change my mindset to connect with other people more. And after graduate, I have plan to do work to do work and and also I have plan to order first also <laughs> because I I tell to myself if I uh if I work first. I don't have time to less the mind. <laughs> I don't have time to practice meditation. And this is the idea come up in, in my life during that time. I just ask to myself first and then ask to, and then tell to my family that I would like to ordain. And my family that very happy is it tell to me, really? What a temple. <laughs> and that's awesome because I tell to my family that I would like to try the new life. I would like to do something that I never tried before. It like the go to walk, Dhammayata. Dhammayata is like the walk around. From the temple, go to around the, the place that Long Pu Wat Nam that the path of Long Pukwet Pak Nam. And then just have time to practice meditation because I think, oh, this is the way that I must to practice meditation because I'm done confident, I'm very shy. And I think meditation can help me to become the good person and become the good idea. And you know, during the Mang Lai in the first time, I think about business also. <laughs> I think this is the way to make marriage first. And if I have a lot of marriage, the business, uh, my business, that can succeed very fast. <laughs> but, but I just I just look back to myself. Oh, this is the lie that I find. Uh, I find through the whole life. 
and something that everyone find, everyone find happiness also, and find happiness also, and my work, like the the way that is different from other work in in the world, and I just tell to my family, this is the work that I do in a piece that can create more people happiness, and can do something that have impact to people around me. Mm-hmm. Especially for myself first, you know, for for myself, I just learn and teaching, uh, teaching myself, learn about anything, and just have time to help other people around me. That's very awesome. Especially in the daily my shower or the uh, special Zoom class every Sunday, every Saturday. Uh, West Coast, <laughs> that very happy to connect people with the meditation, with the wisdom that can make everyone happy. This is the the my my view, my point that is so very different <laughs> from the business man to become the uh, orange man. <laughs> that very awesome. That's so cool. Uh, I have. Quick question for you. You mentioned that you wanted to open a restaurant, right? What kind of food did you want to sell? Okay, it like the Thai food. Oh. You know about the Ka Pao Khai Dao. Yeah, I love it. You you can translate to English language. Um, it's the fried basil, Thai basil. Oh, yes, and it like the. Order, order of food depend on the people that come to, to the restaurant, <laughs> and I have a lot of idea, and I tell to my family, and let them know <laughs> first, and I just make the the uh, my mother and father help to each help to each other to make the restaurant, and oh. you know right now I think they will do like that in the future. Oh. So it's mm. only one menu that you wanna sell? No, no, no. <laughs> any, any menu. It like the ahan tam san. Ah, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, sorry for taking you guys off of the topic. You know, from like leadership to successful, and now to food. I guess that just how much we love food, but you know, all the restaurant owners, um, they cannot know. Also, be successful without um, the four itipata too, right? And they have delicious food for us to eat. Okay, um, I think our time is up now. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us until the end. I hope you enjoy this episode, and I hope that you learn something from this. All right, and please join me in paying our month's respect together by bowing three times. Bow. 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 May the power of merit from practice meditation together, from learn about wisdom, enable all of you to have pure mind. Have a good life, successful in everything, and can attain true happiness with i s soon. Okay, thank you so much, everyone, and we will see you guys again with Clear Your Mind by Your Monk in the next episode. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time. <laughs>